um, you know, I think all the leading labs are trying to create general intelligence, right? And um, super intelligence, whatever you call it, right? Like basically AI that can lead towards a world of abundance where like everyone has these superhuman tools to create whatever they want. And that leads to just dramatically empowering people and creating all these economic benefits. I think that that's sort of, however you define that, I think that that's kind of what, what a lot of the labs are, are going for. And, um, but there's no doubt that different folks have sort of optimized towards different things. I think the anthropic folks have really focused on kind of coding and and agents around that. You know, the open AI folks, I think, have gone a little more towards reasoning um, recently. And I think that there is a space which, if I had to guess, I think will end up probably being the most used one, which um, which is quick, is very natural to interact with. Um, is very natively multimodal um, that fits into kind of throughout your day the ways that you want to interact with it. Um, and I think you got a chance to play around with um, with uh, the new Meta AI yeah. app that we're that we're releasing. And you know, one of the fun things that we put in there is the um, the demo for the full duplex voice. Mm -hmm. And it's I mean it's early, right? I mean it's not. Um, you know, there's a reason why we haven't made that the default voice model in the app. But there's something about how naturally conversational it is that I think is just like really fun and compelling. And and I, I think being able to mix kind of that in um, with the right personalization is going to lead towards a product experience where, you know, I, I would basically just guess that you go forward a few years, like we're just going to be talking to AI throughout the day about different things that we're wondering. And, um, you know, it's like you'll um, you'll you'll have your phone. You'll talk you'll talk to it on your phone. You'll talk to it while you're browsing your feed apps. It'll give you context about different stuff. You'll be able to answer questions. It'll help you as you're interacting with people in messaging apps. Um, you know, eventually, I think we'll we'll walk through our, our daily lives and we'll either have glasses or um, you know other kinds of AI devices and and just be able to kind of seamlessly interact with it all day long. So I, I think that that is that's kind of the north star and whatever the benchmarks are that lead towards people feeling like the the quality is like that's what they want to interact with 